Hi and welcome to another one of our videos and today I'm looking at one of my favourite stability drill of all time being this toe touch drill. I've done quite a few videos on this before and I've probably related it either to the foot or the hip. Um, today I'm just sort of relating it to general movement and why, why I actually rate it so highly. So firstly if you're not sure what it is, this is how it works. Um, you don't necessarily need this mat that I'm standing on by the way which is called a functional testing grid but it does make it quite handy to get it um, to get it exactly right and you can actually use the grid as a bit of a measurement tool so anyway all you need to do is stand in the middle of a circle you can stand on, a, on an X I suppose you could you could make it and then you're basically trying to tap your your foot in the air as far away from your body as you can but without losing stability of the leg all right so what I mean by stability of the leg you need to make sure you keep your ankle, your knee and your hip all in perfect alignment. And this is where your trunk, your torso, is trying to control this movement sideways. This is what we call the frontal planes. This is where your core muscles that everyone talks about, your abdominals, these guys are working big time. Even though you don't feel them doing this movement, they are working and they are working in the way that they were designed to work as opposed to a plank and a sit-up. That's not really what their main purpose is. Their main purpose is to maintain your trunk position so you can move with your arms and legs. And this one is so good an exercise because it relates to the to the action of walking. All right, so I don't know anyone that doesn't need walking. So from an 85-year-old to an athlete, we all need the ability to walk. And the stance leg is critical for us to maintain our efficiency with it so that we don't either blow out joints at the ankle, the knee or the hip. All right, so this is such an, an important exercise to really master. And I use this on the first day with any client that I see as a testing, um, as a testing drill to tell me how good they are working through all of those joints and their coordination for movement and obviously and how good their balance is. But it's such a a valuable test because there's so many moving pieces but the best part is it relates to the to the movement pattern of walking the front ones that I'm showing you here they are the, definitely the most difficult ones to do um, they are sort of would be the equivalent to walking down a stairs downstairs as such where the backward ones are probably the most um, useful as an exercise because they are the ones that develop the most strength through the the glutes um, and also to help you move upright. Um, in this second part here of this video, I'm showing you a different version. That, that first one, if I just go back to the beginning here, and you'll see the first one here, my pelvis is very square, and, I'm, and it's very much facing the front the whole time. On this next one, though, which I'm showing in the second part of this video, when I go back to my right leg here, this is when I call this a moving pelvis. So now my pelvis is going to move around. So it's going to actually generate the ability for me to um, to f face in a different direction. You'll see how it will sort of turn out. So I'll do the sideways one. And you'll see in these backward ones how my body's going to actually turn. And my stance leg must not follow. So even though my pelvis is turning around, so my pelvis is turned this way, this leg has almost got to turn that way, all right? And this is where I really start to make this a little bit harder and it's a little bit more control. You can probably see a bit better, but you've got to make sure that knee doesn't get torqued just like I did there, all right? So that was bad form. Um, and, but it is very difficult to control. And you can see here I lost it. So it's a little bit more of an advanced movement. So, and you can see here, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to get fatigued. Um, you know, and then that's probably where I need, probably where I need to start again. But a great example of how you can use such a simple exercise to really enhance stability for the walking pattern. All right, so stay tuned because I'm going to show you a couple of other videos that are progressions of this.